Well, for the first time this fall, the Virginia football team is coming off a loss. Bronco Mendenhall and company an extra week to bounce back from that loss in South Bend last Saturday afternoon. We are back in studio this week after last week's road trip. Ahmad Hawkins, the ball hawk, back with us on this bye week. And Ahmad, I think we all kind of left that game in South Bend, left Notre Dame Stadium with some questions, some concerns about this UVA yeah. football team. What's your biggest concern coming off that game? This biggest concern is basically protecting Bryce Perkins and uh, pass formations, whether it's due to schematically what we're trying to do as far as three receivers, four receivers, and just man-on-man -man blocking, just our ability just to stop four rushers from getting home to our quarterback. So... How do you fix that? I mean, it's not like it's not like it's the NFL where you can go out and trade for a guy or yeah. sign somebody. How mm -hmm. do you fix something like that? Obviously, having a bye week helps. Yeah, having a bye week definitely helps. You can pay attention to detail, get back to the fundamentals, just hand placement, foot activity, just challenging your offensive alignment to become that much greater. And you need these type of games to truly humble you and get you back to your roots, and the bye week couldn't come at a, a better time. I was going to ask you, how valuable is a game like that? Because Notre Dame... That's a high bar. That's a yes. top 10 team. Now uh -huh. you have an idea. That's where you want to be as a program. How valuable can that experience be in what still needs to be done yeah. to get to that level? That's a great question. It's viable if you have the mindset that you truly want to be great. You have the mindset that uh, any constructive criticism that you receive during this bye week, you're going to uh, remain in tune and just sharpen your tool. And for our offense alignment and Coach 2J does a great job of always uh, challenging those guys. Don't take it personal. Take it as a personal challenge to, be, to take the next step. Um, you play a number, number 10 team in the country. You were up at halftime, and then they just started. They revved it up a gear, and we decreased the gear, and it's just a great teaching tool. And like I said, if you truly want to be great, you could take this constructive criticism and use it for the better. Now, this is the first of two bye weeks on this UVA schedule this season. The other one is in November now. From your playing days, just mm -hmm. how valuable are these weeks where you're not preparing for an opponent, you can focus on yourself, and you can work on these yeah. things that you can target? That's a great That's a great comment. You can work on yourselves. In the bye week, that first week, you're definitely working on yourself. Rest, recovery. A guy like Bryce Perkins has been taking a lot of hits. Uh, we don't know what the health is for his knee. You can take this whole week, get with the trainers, uh, get with the strength and conditioning coach, and just better yourself and your body. And then you have a, a little break as a coaching staff as far as trying to uh, – create a game plan in an expedited fashion. Now you can truly step, take a step back and see the things that you did wrong these first five games and then be that much more prepared for Miami on that Friday night game.